next speaker has been a leader in standing up for marriage, standing up for truth. He's the Assistant Senate Minority Leader. He has received the Pro-Life Wisconsin Legislator of the Year Award in 1995 and in 2010. Uh, he represents West Bend Senator Glenn Groth. Well, you've heard several speeches, and I'm going to change my speech from what I originally had. You know, I've been at a variety of rallies over the years. I've watched rallies here. Some of the rallies may be put on by the group you see behind you. And one thing I notice, when they're here... We never show up and shout them down. Yeah, that's right. Hey, that's right. Read out. I've been here for pro-life rallies. I've been here for very extreme feminist rallies. We never shout them down. It's only the people behind you who are scared to death of the truth. Right. Ask yourself why we're here today why they won't listen, why they're scared to death that somebody might be walking by here and hear the facts. You will find that whenever you have the hard anti-Christian left allowed. The first thing they want to do is they want to shout you down because they want to prevent people from hearing the truth. And I think one reason they're here today is they know deep down inside that you've got the truth and they don't. So I'm going to ask you all in your life, they're going to succeed in maybe not having as many people hear this as possible. But when you run into people with this opinion, share the truth with them and ask them, why are they afraid of the truth? Why, when they hold a rally, we don't shout them down? But they are so scared to death that maybe some somebody down there might actually be listening. And by the way, you're going to see this throughout your life. I have never heard of a person looking to become a faculty member saying, I'm scared to death because I'm a liberal. There are all sorts of people I know who are conservatives who want to be history professors or journalism professors or whatever and they're scared to death they won't get tenure because people on the other end of State Street don't want to hear the truth. I've heard of other people on platforms like this. Pro-life people, David Horowitz, Ann Coulter, whatever. They always shut them down because they're scared to death of the truth. Well, let me tell you, and I'll address this not to the people on this side of the tape, but on the other side of this tape. In the future, right now your friends are shouting you down. But when your friends start around shouting you down, come up and talk to us, because the truth will set you free if you only listen to it. One man, one woman, one man, one woman, one man, one woman, one man, one woman. One man, one woman. Thank you all for coming today. Thank you for enduring this. Thank you for refusing to be silent. Those people protesting today have made our point better than we ever could. What we've said from the beginning is that there will be found consequences if you redefine marriage. What we've said from the beginning is that it is a lie to say that you can fundamentally transform our most basic social institution and nothing will happen. And what we've said from the beginning are that there are those who want to shout us down and to silence us. And today, while the cameras were rolling, we saw that some do not want a civil dialogue, a civil debate. They want to drown us out with what I saw today was just pure and simple hatred. We must meet hatred with love. We must meet anger with respect. We must show dignity to all. So when you leave here today, please be respectful, be dignified, prayerfully go on your way. But before you do, 
As Maggie said, we're gathering together an army of two million supporters of marriage. We're already at 700,000. Any names that we gather today, we will share with the Wisconsin Family Action, Jelaine Appling. Uh, please, sign up. Go online. Encourage your friends to sign up. Do something to stand up for marriage. Don't be silenced. Become a part of a larger group. We've voted by 60% here, 53% in California, 53% in Maine. The majority of Americans stand side by side with you. Now we need to unite together to make sure that the courts don't force same-sex marriage on Wisconsin and the rest of this country. Please sign up in the back. God bless you all.